Alright guys, at this stage of the game, we are going to be adding in our puree here to our soap mixture here. 15 weight ounces, 9 ounces with um, the puree. You should have your molds ready, already pre-sprayed. Um, I've already done mine. You just need one little spray in each one and then rub it around with your fingers. Alright, so we're going to add this in. And it should not look like it's blended all the way. But at this point, we're going to roll this down because you want to remove as much air as possible. And zip lock it down nice and tight. You see your soap in here in the bottom. You're going to mush it up some in the bag. Shake down. And mush some more. Do not want to create suds, that's why we're using the mushy method. You do want the soap nice and wet, every little granule nice and wet. Now, if you do happen to see that every little granule is not nice and wet, you can add just a tad bit more water, enough to soak the soap that's not wet already. If it's already wet, leave it alone. But this just comes down to good mixing. See these little parts here? You want to make sure, like up in here, that they're wet. So you're going to take wet soap, add it to that, mush it around. Do not create suds. Put that down. Just a tad bit more water, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe just a little bit more. So I'm going to add just a drop or two. That's about a teaspoon of water I just added in. I'm removing the air again. And that's perfect. The bag should feel heavy with puree and soap, not with water. As a matter of fact, you should not see any liquid water in the bag. Okay, if you see liquid water in the bag, you add it too much water. And the only thing you can do is um, try to drain that water out of the bag. Okay, so this is good to go. Again, I'm going to fold this over. And you don't want the soap inside your rivets, otherwise um, the bag won't close. And I keep finding that out the hard way when the soap gets up there. You're going to fold this over and remove as much air as possible because when this bag hits the heat inside of the other bag, it's going to puff up. And you really just want this one to remain very flat. So you're going to take your other bag here, right here, and you're going to put this inside of this bag like so. Bag inside, bag inside. This is to protect it from too much heat. And you're going to fold down this one little side here. And because you've now added something to this bag, you need to remove, again, as much air as possible. Fold it over. And like I said, you're still going to have some air in it, but you want to get out as much as you can. You're going to zip lock that closed. I'm going to show you the water over here is boiling already, so it's ready to go. You're going to take your bag. It should not be at a high rolling boil, so I'm going to turn that down some to about a four. But this is pretty much what you want your water to be doing right there. You don't want it at a, a full, full boil, but you do want it plenty hot. Alright, so you're going to take your puree bag with your carrot mixture and your soap, and you're going to put it in here. Now, all your ends may not fit. So, 
So you're going to take the lid, do a little pullover, drop your lid in, and close it. I already have my timer set for 45 minutes. I'm going to press start. After 15 minutes, though, I'm going to come back and check the soap. Um, you will not see me checking the soap. But what I'm telling you is, is that after 15 minutes of the 45-minute cycle, when there's 30 minutes left for the soap to be soft and melded with the carrot puree and water, you want to come back and check it at 15 minutes and turn the bag over. Flip the bag over to the other side. So whatever side you started on, you want to reverse it to the other side after mushing it a little with your gloved hands. Um, what you'll see me doing is pretty much going to be the end result. Um, me mushing in the bag, me adding the benzoin and the flaxseed oil, and then pouring it into the mold for you guys. Um, the middle part's part, kind of boring, just waiting for the soap to get down to a nice melted state, so there's no point in me showing you that. But just remember to use your gloved hands and massage it. You're not like me. You don't have asbestos hands and can touch very hot things. I've always been able to do that. Okay, so if video number three, we're going to be completing um, pouring in the mold, putting in the flaxseed oil, putting in the preservative, and um, covering with the um, saran wrap. And it's going into the fridge. All right, people. Later.